What's up squads, welcome back to Regal Randy's Ranch. Today we got a crazy new product in the mail that I can't wait to try out. GrowAce was awesome enough to send us their AirCube Active Oxygen Ebb and Flow Grow System. In this video, I'm gonna set it up and show you guys how to install everything. Shout out to the delivery driver because he must have been fighting rock titans or something to get it here. I don't know what happened to these boxes, but it doesn't look like anything is damaged. So let's open these packages and set everything up. The first box I'm opening contains the Advanced Brain Controller module. This is, as the name suggests, the brain of the whole system. Be careful when removing the foam packing, as it's form-fitted to the sensors in the brain bucket, and you don't want to break those sensors. Packed inside is some hose, two submersible pumps, some fittings, and the instruction manual. The next box I open contains the Lotus Nutrient line that GrowAce threw in. We will definitely be using these either this run or on the next. I haven't decided yet, but we'll put these aside for now. Then I open the 25 gallon collapsible reservoir and the six buckets. It looks like we have everything unboxed, so now it's time to set the system up. If you guys want to grab this system, make sure to use my discount code REGALHIVE5 for 5% off this ebb and flow system. But I'm always working with my sponsor to get better deals, so if this coupon doesn't work, check the description for the latest one. The first thing I do is set up the collapsible 25 gallon reservoir. These plastic poles screw together and slide in the three holes that had the black foam donuts around them. Make sure the bottoms of the support poles are fixed in place in the brackets at the bottom of the tank. Then screw the caps on to secure the support poles in place. Next, screw the spigot together using the provided thread tape and grommets. A word of caution, every video I've seen the reservoir is leaked at the spigot, presumably why they included the thread tape. Make sure there's a grommet on each side of the spigot and use the thread tape. If you suffer from the same problem as the infamous T-Rex, it might be easier to install this before you put the support poles in. Moving right along, I flip the buckets upside down and put them in place to prepare for installation. Then I get started on assembling the brain controller bucket. First, plug the water level float valves in the two holes at the bottom of the brain bucket. Then, plug all the holes in the brain bucket that you won't be using. One system can run up to 36 sites before you need to get a second one, but most growers will probably only be using two of these holes and connecting up to six sites. Each hole gets a grommet and either a plug or a plastic connector. The 25 gallon reservoir will fit perfectly in the grow room upstairs, so I'm going to swap it out for our old 32 gallon res. Next, install the pumps and plug them into the brain bucket controller. One will be used as a drain pump and will drain all the water from the sites back into the res, while the fill pump pumps water from the reservoir to the brain bucket, and then the sites. The drain pump will need a hose from the pump up to the lid and through it, connecting it to the res. GrowAce gives you plenty of hose, so don't be afraid of making a mistake. And make sure your cuts are straight to avoid the joints leaking. The fill pump needs a hose from the pump to the lid of the brain bucket. You will also have to poke a hole on this hose near the top of the reservoir and insert the vacuum brake barbed elbow. I didn't actually get this piece, so GrowAce shipped a replacement out and I installed it later. 
But without this piece, your system will constantly be draining and filling at the same time without shutting off at the proper time intervals. I found out the hard way that you do need it, and the suction will continually vacuum water into the brain bucket and overwork the machine. Now you can attach grommets and T-connectors to each bucket. This is a 4x4 tent, so I'll only be able to fit 4 buckets with the plants that I want to grow. Cut the hose to length and attach the system together. Looking back on it now, I have a way better idea for setup that I will be implementing in the next grow that I use this system with. I'm definitely going to set up the brain controller bucket outside of the tent to keep the reservoir temperature cooler and give myself more room in the tent to grow. Doing so will also give me enough room to use all the buckets for a total of 6 sites. I'll also connect the hoses to one side of the brain controller bucket as the hose performs best with the shortest possible length and least amount of bends. The hose could definitely be upgraded to a stiffer material that won't collapse as easily, but other than that I have no complaints about the system. Check to make sure all the connections are straight and tight, and then flip the system right side up. Fill the reservoir with a little water. You want to catch any leaks before you put the full 25 gallons into the system. The second to last part of this installation is setting the timer for automated watering. There are many factors that affect a plant's watering schedule. Plant size, how much light they're receiving, temperature, size of the system, humidity, grow medium. All these variables mean you'll have to fine tune your watering based on these factors. First, turn the adjustable clock to set the current time. It's 6.30 so I line up the outer dial with the black arrow. Each pin equals 15 minutes of watering time. Determine how many 15 minute intervals you want to have the water fill the buckets. Push the white pins outwards for periods which you would like the water to fill. Outward pins are for fill cycles while inward pins are for drain cycles. Then set the switch to the middle to enter automated watering. Or you can manually fill or drain the system by flipping the switch up or down. Fill the fabric pots with whatever medium you're going to be growing with. Flip the switch down to fill the system and adjust the float valve to the height of the medium. You don't want to flood your pots. I'm going to be using Hydroton, which are clay pebbles, but you're going to have to come back next episode to find out what I'll be growing. And that's how easy it is to set up. Now we're ready to grow in the ebb and flow system. I'm really looking forward to growing in these. As always, hit that subscribe button so you catch every video, and join the Discord so you won't miss out on any of the giveaways. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, squaws.